I'm Joan London. Welcome to DirecTV Hometown Heroes, a show about our subscribers from all over the country who perform extraordinary acts of kindness and courage every day. Tonight, what are you doing? two New York doctors who transform the faces and lives of kids for free. A smile is more valuable than any reimbursement you can have. Hi, Sharon. Coming up next, plastic surgeons give innocent children new faces and new lives. Pretty cool. Yeah. You see this every day. This is Direct TV Hometown Heroes. People get ready, there's a train to come in. Picking up passengers from coast to coast. All you need is faith to hear that diesel humming. You don't need no ticket, you just get on board. The price tag for most plastic surgery can run into the tens of thousands of dollars. But our correspondent, Dr. Winnie King, has the story of a very special group of doctors who perform medical miracles for free. This is a vehicle for people who, frankly, don't stand a chance. That vehicle is a nonprofit called Little Babyface, created by Dr. Thomas Romo. It's dedicated to transforming, free of charge, the faces and lives of children born with facial deformities. Children are innocent beings, and when they come into the world with a facial birth defect, there's a stigmata that goes with that. They're marked with that. How are you? After practicing plastic surgery in New York for several years, Dr. Romo formed Little Baby Face so he could use his surgical skills without charging a fee. I started participating in these overseas missions doing pro bono work, which were essentially limited to cleft lip and cleft palate work. What's the next stage? The physicians who go on these missions, uh, several of them don't do the kind of work at home. So I thought there had to be a better way to organize this and treat more of the birth defects. To join his foundation, Romo recruited several of Manhattan's top surgeons, like Dr. Richard Elias, who shared his desire to help children. What do you do, Sharon Spot? This program enables me to help a lot of needy children in this country and throughout the world. Since its formation, Little Babyface has given fresh starts to over 100 kids from all over the globe. Good morning. Hey. Hi, Mrs. Wong. Hi, Sharon. How are you, sweetheart? Children like Sharon Wong from Staten Island, New York. Today is going to be really easy. You don't have to be nervous at all. Open real big. Wow, and now close hey. your teeth together. That's it. 12-year-old Sharon was born with a facial deformity that limits how long her jaw can grow. See, right now she can't put her teeth together. That's why she has trouble chewing things. She can't eat solid food, and her parents are worried she'll never be able to enjoy a normal life. I don't know why she born like this. Uh, I want my daughter to get it done. You know, I want, I want her healthy. Here we go, Sharon. Shirley's just going to take an x-ray. Okay. Sharon's parents applied to Little Babyface for help. Today, they're meeting with Dr. Elias for a consultation about Sharon's surgery. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to make the jaw come forward and up so that her teeth will go together. Okay. Each operation that Romo and Elias perform can cost as much as $30,000, but the doctors do their part for free. A smile is more valuable than any reimbursement you can have. Yet the hospital, supplies, and support staff all cost. So the fundraising Don Moriarty does is an important priority. The biggest challenge that we have as a foundation is money. And money only comes through awareness. People need to understand what we do, what we're all about, what our mission is. There you go. You get to sit in the special seat. The mission on this day is to prepare for what will be a life-altering surgery on little Sharon Wong. Is one size bigger than the other? So the right side is larger than the left side. Oh. We're going to start that process in getting her onto the road to being able to open and close her jaw, which we all take for granted. We're going to take this device, and after we make that little cut, we're going to place it here, and then as you turn the device, it slowly moves things forward like that, which will bring your front teeth together with your upper teeth. Hopefully with this surgery, she'll be able to eat better, speak better, and feel better about her appearance. So everything's gonna be fine and easy, okay? Right. The next morning, Sharon and her parents arrive for surgery. This is gonna be so easy for you today, okay? Did you bring your teddy bear? Yeah, baby. Good, dad needs it. 
Dr. Elias is reassuring, but Sharon's parents are visibly worried. I just love my daughter. That's it. First, the doctors put Sharon under. Nice deep breath, Sharon. Then the surgery gets started. There's about a half inch between the two. After an hour of work, the doctors are pleased with their progress. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. I see this every day. Oh, yeah, baby. Then three hours after it started, Sharon's surgery is over. And now we'll just be putting in some sutures and close the wounds and get her back up to her family. Though Sharon still has a long way to go, today's surgery was a huge success. And thanks to everyone at Little Baby Face, she's on her way to the normal life she so richly deserves. The greatest reward for me personally is that I can help other people. So it's very rewarding knowing that all that work over all these years that I've put in is paying a different kind of dividend. This is about the children. It's not about me, it's not about the foundation. It's really about the children. A smile on a child's face is really immeasurable. The pride they feel when they've had their surgery and are happy and the fear is gone, it just makes the day a whole lot brighter. This year, Little Baby Face hopes to expand its operation to Los Angeles. For his efforts to fund the life-changing work of Little Baby Face, Don Moriarty is a direct TV hometown hero.